So I'm going to start with um, this as a sample project. It's not exactly the same as your building, but it is going to emulate a similar kind of condition because your buildings are generally going to be very tall since they're climbing up a, I don't know, 75 foot platform or something like that. I think they're 25, 24 foot increments. So, um, so anyway, what we've got here is a tall building, tall slender building. Um, and we're going to show this in a sort of uh, like a pseudo axonometric sort of condition. Okay. And we're going to take that into illustrator and we're going to show the rendered version. And then we're going to overlay that with a, a section cut for the axonometric. Um, so let me see if I Google it real quick, if it pulls up something that will be pretty much what we're doing. And it does. That's an axonometric section. Um, this happens to be one that's cut, um, like the slices of a pie, right? So it's sort of taking a negative out from it. Um, depending on what you want to show about your building, you might actually do the opposite where you're only showing one quarter of the building remaining. Um, you could also show it um, as, as half of the building and, and cut it sort of down the middle somewhere. And that, and in which case that's just a, a pure, um, you know, linear section, but. Um, we're going to set some parameters for what that section is going to look like later, but I just want to show you how to do it first so you know where you're going with your model so that you're not focusing on the wrong things. Um, so basically what you start with is, is choosing where you're going to cut this thing. Um, so for me, I'm just going to be really easy about it, and I'm just going to say, um, let's do a, there we go, polyline. Um, and it doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm just going to make sure this thing is like extra large for now. Um, and then I'm going to extrude that thing up. All right. So this thing is what I'm going to move into place. Um, so wherever this little corner goes, that's where the cut's going to be. Um, so I'm going to drop it sort of back here and centerize it somewhere on my building. And what you want to try and do is align it to something that's going to make it interesting, obviously. So um, let me kind of get into it a little better here in perspective. So if I cut it back, let me look at it back here. See, that's, that's not shown very much yet. So let me kind of nudge a little forward and get some of that sort of wing thing happening at the base and get some of the other tower as well. Something like that should work. Okay. Um, I need to make sure that I grab um, this thing and pull it all the way down. And then just have at it and start cutting away. Um, this can be a little bit of a lengthy process sometimes if your geometry is really intense, but most of our models are going to be super schematic. So real quick, I'm going to just pause the video and do the cutting and then um, we'll get going again in a sec. Um, real quick, before I start cutting anything, guys, make sure that you save your file save a copy of your file, and then cut. Do this every time you do something like this, okay? Because otherwise, you're going to start cutting away at it. You're going to rip this thing in half, and then you're going to accidentally save it later. Or you won't be able to go back enough to get your full model again, and then you're going to lose all your work. So, um, yeah, anyway, make sure you save it. So hit a quick save. Oh, great. That's right. That's a protected file. Um, save as. Let's go to... I'll just drop it in my personal drive. Um, save as and then call it a cut version or something like that. I usually just call it cut at the end. And then I, I start cutting it. So let me do the cut part. Um, you know what, let me show some of the cut part here in the video. Um, so you guys are probably familiar with uh, split, right? So in this case, split is gonna be a little bit more appropriate. Uh, as opposed to um, like Boolean difference, because while Boolean might make some sense, I could turn this thing into a solid and try and cut part like that whole front section out of it. But I don't know whether or not all this geometry in my model is completely enclosed. So, you know, it, I mean, you could try it, but in my opinion, it's probably going to be easier for me to split it. Um, let's do um, split, select all of these, and then split it with this and then let it run for a little bit. So hopefully that'll cut through it just fine, and then we'll do some deleting. Okay, here we go. Hopefully that worked. Hey. 
Nice. Oh, it didn't cut this, did it? Oh, that's probably locked. All right, well, I'm going to do a little bit of work on this thing and just start deleting everything, um, and then I'll continue on. All right, guys, real quick, um, before I do anything crazy here on this, um, I wanted to show you sort of what the condition of it is. So I did make some cuts. Uh, you can see what on the building has been cut here, um, but the building itself is going to look like this, where it's kind of, you know, this uh, sort of just uh, floating bits and pieces of the building because I've taken out some of the structure. That's okay, that's what I wanted to show. Um, but I wanna show the section meaning all of this other stuff that you have here um, sort of happening at the section cut. So how many of you remember what the tool is that you use to get section lines? Hmm? No, it's called section. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, you use the section command. I think it's called the section command. God, it's been like two years since I've used it. Um, so anyway, you just do the section command and it cuts all the lines for you, but you need to know exactly the plane that you've cut it with. So that's why I still have this here. So let me just make a quick layer for it. I'm gonna call it cut plane, make it a funky color so I can see it. Okay, and then um, I will, uh, well, I gotta do a couple things. Um, I'm gonna grab, let's do section. Actually, no, sorry. First, the, the thing that you absolutely must do first, right? Because when you do section, and then you do make 2D, for instance, right? To flatten it so that you can use it in Illustrator or something like that. Um, you absolutely must have exactly the view that you're trying to work with. So I'm gonna do kind of a simplified view here. Um, so I'm gonna get sort of under this thing and just kind of look up at it like I'm trying to see the relationship of the structure down here to how it supports what's happening up there. Okay, so this is going to be, and I'll pull it off to the side so it's following my rule of thirds and it's super fancy. You guys will be much more calibrated than I will be, by the way. Um, so let's do set view, named views. We're going to call this... Uh, um, up view, work that up view, okay? Um, all right, so that's gonna be our render, but we can, um, let's leave that view as it is for now, and we're gonna utilize this other view in order to get our section lines, okay? So um, we can do this in two pieces. Um, so let's go to section, and it's gonna say select the objects for your section. You're gonna select everything that you're going to use to create the section. And let me just check these, assign layer. Yeah, let's do, whoops. All right, let me do another layer. I'm gonna call this, hang on. Let's call this section lines. I'll make these, sure, cyan works. Um, now let's go back into section make that active, section, um, assign layers, let's go to current layer, yeah, current layer's fine, um, join curves, group objects by section plane, you can use that, I'm not gonna bother with it here, so I'm gonna select my objects, hit okay, then I'm going to use uh, this end line there and just hold shift to go all the way up there. So what that does is it created the section lines that you see here on the right hand side. That's only one side of my building. Um, so if I hit escape, you'll notice that those showed up in cyan like I intended it to, so that's recording that for me, which is great. Um, and then I can do another section command. So you guys may or may not have actually done a duplicate section um, in, in one go in your previous class, but hopefully this is new information for you too, that you can just do two sections in one and get both sides. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is select all the objects on that layer. I'm going to make sure that I'm viewing the view that I want uh, all of these lines for, and I'm going to do a make 2D. Not make 1D, make 2D. Um, current view is fine. Uh, we can set a specific layer for it. I think I accidentally created another layer, layer 1, so I'm going to do that. Um, in this case, because it's a section cut, 
there are no such things as hidden lines. It's only the cut lines. So there's no hidden geometry at all. So I don't have to worry about that. And then just um, hit OK. You'll see that it dropped it down here and we're ready to export. Okay, so I'm gonna cover um, import and export um, in a separate video, but uh, in order to get a two-part axonometric section, what questions do you have? No questions. Yes? So the background is that if you had to give the two beams, like the right here and stuff, you know, the backgrounds uh, will be shaped in, in the line too. But if you, you want all the background geometry? Uh, in this particular example, no, but in some examples we're going to work with yes. Not necessarily today, maybe on Thursday. Okay. Any other questions? All right.